there are hospitalized patients where, because is in these inpatients happens the most uh, uh, administrations of heparin, one third of the heparins, more than one third of the drugs administered in this kind of patients are uh, related to uh, thrombocytopenia, minus to uh, four and one to arterial. So I, I create this volcano puzzle because uh, most uh, of patients in ICU develop antibodies against uh, the PF4, other develop antibodies uh, as an antiphospholipid syndrome and TTP and Hughes as a postoperative issue. So uh, the, some of them develop thrombocytopenia, but this depends, the, the severity depends on the magnitude and the timeline as was uh, my previous speaker have shown uh, with the severity of illness. So, all the patients develop depends on the clinical faculty, factors around the comorbidities, arterial venous thrombosis, and we have to avoid this evolution to uh, uh, multiple organ dysfunction syndrome with multiple thrombosis in identify early this process and giving the patient the prompt, uh, the adequate treatment. So, the next slide I'll show you when when should we think about it? So this is a, a case of, of coumarin in a patient synthesized, synthesized with HIT. How to recognize this? Well, this is to use to apply among ICUs and uh, can describe in numbers which I'm talking about, okay? There are thrombocytopenia, if you decrease more than 50% from baseline, you receive two points. If the time of platelet fall are uh, 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 between five and ten days of the heparin use, the thrombosis or other sequelae, as you can see in this slide, or no other causes of, of platelet, you figure out how is the test pre-test probability to find that. This is the translation of that slide. I mean that. If you have lo very low suspicions in based on clinical grounds about it, you can keep use heparin. But if you have a moderate suspicion or very high suspicion, please stop the heparin and don't wait for the lab results. I can see this in an analogy with you, the treatment of sepsis. You don't have to wait for, uh, for given antibiotics and you have to wait for the results of culture. You first you give antibiotics and after you're looking for the result of, of culture. I mean that, uh, I want to say that the same thing here. If you have a high suspicion of the patient could have hit, you stop heparin and use another agulant, no heparin, anticoagulant as DTI. I don't have time to explain here about the direct thrombin inhibitors. So that's a problem. If you are using uh, functional assays, the sensitivity is increased. You can have the positive exam and you have a no red hit. And on the other hand, if you have an antigen assay as an anti-PF4 antigen assay, uh, you, you have a, a high negative predictive value. So I, in my opinion, uh, when you have a, a, a drop in platelet before the four days in surgery, uh, I, I believe that uh, it's virtually no hit. I, I, I think that hit it's it's more than five days, more than four days. That's my opinion. What is your favorite drug now? My favorite drugs, uh, unfortunately, in Brazil, we don't have 